I am still here in the Gambia. So far, so good. I'm really enjoying this beautiful country. Oh my goodness. Gambia is indeed beautiful. Now they are finding new excuses. They are telling me that things that I promote in Africa don't belong to Africans. Oh my God. You know what? I'm going to show you something that is way beautiful that is owned by Africans, I mean black Africans, if that's what you want me to say. I don't want to be racist, I'm, I'm not a racist guy, man, but I just want to tell you that I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back, okay? So come with me, let's go explore this beautiful house and trust me, you're gonna love it, man. <laughs> yeah, Maya. Hey, that's, 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 let me pull my slippers somewhere. And then, hey, the owner is not here. Oh, hi. Okay. Thank you so Welcome. much. Good, Good to see you. Good to see you. Wow, finally I'm here. Yes, Welcome. Thank you. I want to see your beautiful house. Yes, please. Thank you. Wow. Yes, so Maya, uh -huh. we'll show you around our little guest house. Wow. And uh, if we come this way, first we have our mini bar because most of our guests are from all parts of the world and although this is a Muslim country you know alcohol is served here yeah. so we cater for people from all over the world who have you know a taste for alcohol or whether you're teetotal or wine yeah. so that's our mini bar wow. and the actual bar itself is made locally by local carpenters wow. and this is our dining room for our guests Amazing. all our guests have lunch or breakfast dinner here we have a full menu that our guests can choose from. All right. And it's catered for vegans, yes, so vegetarians, pescatarians, but you know, those who eat meat as well. So it's, it's a full range because we yeah. like to try and think about those that might have gluten, gluten free, um, who have dietary needs. We actually specify what we can do for them and they say, look, we'll have this, we'll have that. So it's wow. all on the menu. There. It's a very personal service. Mm -hmm. so I'll introduce you to our chef. Okay. Wow. Chef. Nice. This is our chef, Mui. Moi does the morning to afternoon shift because we have two sh uh, chefs so to cover the whole day when we're in, in season. Yes. And Moi has been with us for just over two years now mm -hmm. and she's very special. This is our upstairs chill out lounge and this is where our guests can come and relax, read or do their interneting business because we have some business uh, guests also and they like to do their work here so it, it's separate from downstairs but it's, it's still connected and it's, it's quiet. And as you can tell, we call this place Tranquil Star because it is very tranquil and peaceful and quiet and our guests appreciate the quietness away from the hustle and the bustle, although we are only two minutes from the highway, as you know. What? Yeah, yes. So. <laughs> yeah. so yes, so this is our chill out lounge and the three bedrooms through this corridor, if you'd like to enter here. This is our smallest room. And this is our second largest room and this is our grand deluxe and we say we like to give you a little bit of luxury in the Gambia <laughs> because people don't expect this of the Gambia they expect very basic and I've seen so many videos of Africa showing you very basic accommodation but um, there are lots of people from the diaspora now coming and they're helping the Gambians to raise the standards this is the master bedroom it's called the Supreme. I know it's hard when you don't get the time. I've really moved around, and I must confess that this is really luxury. 
and uh, really beautiful. Like I never expect to see something <laughs> in a place like that. Yeah. So I want to say that I also want to support, you know, and the little that I will support, like I want you to tell me how much does it cost and also any link that anyone want to visit Gambia where to stay, you know, so. Okay, yes. So as I said, we have three different price levels because the rooms are different. So the, the standard luxury room, which is the smallest, is $2,700 per night, okay. which is about £45 okay. in English money. Um, the next room up, which is the Grand Deluxe Room, that is $3,300 per night, which is about £55. And the Grand, uh, the Supreme Deluxe, which is the largest room, that's £65 a night, which is about 3900 if someone is not from Gambia, how can the person book uh, the house? Well, we're on booking.com okay. and we're also on Airbnb. Airbnb. Yes. yes. So I guess you're going to give me the link and then I'll go and put in the description Absolutely. so that people. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put um, the link to this house in the description box. If you really want to visit Gambia, this is a perfect place for you to stay. So make sure you book and support. Black business. This is how you guys say it, and I'm also going to say it today. And uh, any final message for each and everyone who's looking forward to spend nights or three nights with you? Yes, um, we aim and we do ensure that you'll have a fantastic time here. Your needs will be met. We also offer facials, pedicures, manicures, wow. massage. So it's completely and utterly tranquil stuff. No. You definitely smile when you come in here. So, boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye, yeah, bye, yeah. Peace out. the things you gotta do